Hey there students. So in this video today, we're going to talk about depreciation. So what is depreciation? Well, here's how I describe it. Basically what you do is you expense a fixed asset slowly over time as you use it. So it's not really a decline in value of that asset. What you do is you buy a fixed asset, say you buy some equipment. All right. And over time, as you use it, because again, when you bought that equipment, it went on your balance sheet, right? As an asset. But as you use it over time, you're going to slowly start to depreciate it. So that line represents time. And then as you use it, you will slowly expense it until there's nothing more to expense. That's the idea. That's kind of what depreciation is. Some people say, oh, it's a decline in value of it. It's like, not really. You buy the asset, you put it on your balance sheet, or you capitalize it. Then, as you use it, you expense it in pieces over time. And there's a few different methods we'll go over in a little bit to show you how to depreciate these fixed assets. Okay, so next, let's talk about some of the related terms. So. What is accumulated depreciation? I'm sure you've heard of this. Well, you know how you buy that fixed asset and then you slowly expense it over time? That's depreciation expenses. Well, accumulated depreciation, that's just the sum of all of those depreciation expenses. Those expenses will accumulate or grow over time. And so it all is thrown into this account. Now this account here, is considered a contra asset account. So it's the opposite of a fixed asset. So what you do is you deduct it, right? From fixed assets, direct deduction. So if a fixed asset, right, it's gonna be a debit when you put it on your balance sheet. So that means that accumulated depreciation, since it's the opposite, it would be a natural credit. So accumulated depreciation is a credit account directly deducts from your fixed asset and is considered a sum of depreciation expenses. So here's an example here. <clears throat> Say year one, you have $2,000 in depreciation expenses. Year two, $3,000. Year three, $4,000. So what's your accumulated depreciation? Well, it's gonna equal You guessed it, $9,000. So it's not too hard, right? You just take each year and you add them up, right? It's the sum of your depreciation expenses. And this is just a basic example to get you familiarized. Once again, we practice those test questions to really get you prepped uh, for those exams. So next, let's take a look here. Residual value. What's this? Well, sometimes they call it salvage value. Basically what it means is it's going to be the trade-in value at the end of the asset's life. So once you're done with that asset, what can you trade it in for? You might be able to salvage it for some money. You're like, okay, I used it up, but someone still might buy it. A really good relatable example is a car. So you buy a car, you use it, you put on a lot of miles, right? But at the end of its life, you're like, man, this has like 300,000 miles on it. I want to buy a new car. Can you trade that car in? Usually you can. And they'll pay you, not a lot for it, but they'll pay you some money for it. That's called the salvage value. What can I salvage that car for? Squeeze a little bit of extra money out of it. And that way I can go ahead and have that cash and maybe use it toward a new car. That's salvage value. So as you see here, try to salvage that car. That's about it here for what is depreciation. I went through and showed you the depreciation expense, how it works when you buy a fixed asset and then you expense it over time, what accumulated depreciation is and what residual or salvage value is. So rewind the video if you need to. It's a very helpful one. Make sure you take notes and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.